Hey guys, I'm Rich. Welcome to another Halo Reach action figure review. Today I'm reviewing the Grunt Heavy, or Heavy Grunt, whichever you prefer, from the Series 3 action figure line, the Halo Reach from McFarlane. Um, now, this guy is pretty cool looking. I think it is. Um, I mean, it's still just a Grunt, so if you've seen any of the other Grunt reviews, you pretty much know the gist of it. Um, this is basically a straight-up repaint of the Grunt Ultra. Um... The ones that have the uh, the helmet, and they're kind of like the grayish, whitish, pearlish color. Uh, now, this figure is pretty cool. It comes with a plasma pistol, which is kind of lame if you think about it a little bit, because the grunts are supposed the, the the heavy grunts are supposed to be carrying you know heavy weapons. That's why they're called heavy grunts. So I would assume that this would actually come with a fuel rod cannon, but they didn't come out with a fuel rod cannon. Whatever it comes with a plasma pistol, which is a great weapon. Um, the mask here is removable, which I think is really cool. The mask is removable. The well. The face mask is removable. Then the mouth mask is also removable. And then you can see that ugly, ugly, even a mother wouldn't love it face. It is, oh my God, look at, oh my, oh, I gotta cover that up. Oh my gosh, oh, yeah, that's better. Much, much better. And you know what, I'm just gonna cover that up too. I don't want to look at that. Oh, look at that, that looks all cool. All right. <laughs> the uh, backpack is also removable here. You can just rip it off. There we go. Boop. Just comes off. Um, these uh, like wire things here kind of move as well. You can pop them up out of the holes. But you know what? Actually, okay, yeah, you can. All right. It looked like the other one was glued in. But anyway, you can pop those out. Um, in the back here, people used to think that that was a place to put a plasma grenade. It absolutely is not. If you wanted, you could... It won't even stay. There's no spot on the back of the grunt in order to hold his plasma grenade that he comes with. So I just wanted to clarify that because some people had wondered. Now, another thing people wondered was, like, you could put the plasma grenades here in the backpack. But the thing is, is if you... These backpacks, while they're removable, with the grunt ultra and this heavy grunt, I wouldn't recommend removing their backpacks too much just because you're going to be causing wear and tear here on these wires. And you don't want to do that, you know. Um, it's great for stop motions and if you want to display it or put like some type of diorama where like, you know, one of the grunts got their, their methane tanks blown off. That's great, but at the same time, you know, you don't want to keep pulling it off over and over and over and over just because. Uh, anyway, like I said, he does come with a plasma grenade. Now, my little grunt here actually came with a frag grenade that had been accidentally colored as a plasma grenade, and I thought that was absolutely hilarious. But that one is not the one it's supposed to come with. It's supposed to come with just the round plasma grenade little balls. So that's pretty much it. Uh, there is no peg holes on this grunt, so there's nowhere for him to put the plasma pistol. But it still comes with a black little weapon peg, as you can see. So you, if you're using it on an elite or like a Spartan, you can still put it on their thigh or their back pegs. Um, anyway, overall, I think the paint job looks really good. Th this figure actually turned out pretty cool. I like the the paint scheme on it. Um, yeah, I think it's actually a pretty darn good looking little figure. All right, now for articulation. This guy here, look up and down pretty darn well. I mean, that's quite a range of motion. Can rotate 360 because it's on a ball joint. So there you go. Look at that. The shoulders here can reach the arms out to about there. I mean, if you want, that's as far as they can reach out. Crossing forward, like onto the front of the chest, you get about there. Um, the arms can rotate 360. It bends at the shoulder and then at the elbow, and that's it. There's nothing else there on the arm, which is kind of disappointing, just because you, you'd like to get some more range, but it's not, it's just the way that the grunts are. Um, waist articulation. This particular grunt has a lot. I can't remember my other grunts having so much waist articulation, so that's really cool. Now, leg articulation, he has two points, one at the hip. So it can rotate 360, but I wouldn't recommend rotating it 360. And then also at the knees. Now, if you happen to own any of the Halo 3 grunts or you've heard about the Halo 3 grunts, you probably know that the knees on those guys were incredibly brittle. These grunts, I have multiple grunts from Halo Reach, um, you know, several different ones. And all of them, the legs are so much better. Like every piece on this figure, as I just showed, is, is posable. Um... So that there's no problems with the figures like they used to be. The Halo Reach line is way better. So if you want to get one of these grunts, don't be worried that the leg might break. I mean, you still got to handle with care. I mean, you can't, like, take it through down the stairs and expect it not to break. But, I mean, you can handle it. You know what I mean? Okay.
So anyway, that's all the little pieces the figure comes with. If you're interested in picking one of these figures up, because I always get asked, you know, where can I buy these figures? You can pick them up at different local department stores that are in your area. Um, all these you have eBay, but if you'd like to take a website that's actually, I think is actually pretty good, that sells Halo figures, um, and they can mail them directly to you, I would recommend entertainmentearth.com. The link will be in the description exactly for this figure, so you can buy it, as long as they've got them in stock. And that way, you know, you don't have to worry about do they have them in your area. And if you live uh, in an area that doesn't have, you know, GameStops and Targets and Walmarts all over the place that sells figures, then it'd be a great alternative at the same time. So anyway, guys, I'm going to give this figure a 5 out of 5 as far as grunts go. I would say it's a 5 out of 5. It's got a great paint job. I like the, the unique mask that it has. Um, articulation was great. There wasn't anything broken with it. Uh, the only thing that I would kind of like different would be the plasma pistol just so that it could be a fuel rod cannon, but still the plasma pistol is a pretty cool weapon and it's pretty uncommon with the figures right now. Not too many actually even have the plasma pistol, so it is still kind of cool to get it. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have comments or questions, post that down below. And as always, I'm interested to know what you guys think about this figure. If you can comment down below what you think so that any other person that comes by and watches this review, they can look down in the comment section and see what other people think. Anyway, again, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. All right. Bye-bye-bye-bye.